against the Devils. Next home game is Saturday. That's March 1st. They'll skate against the Washington Capitals. In addition to the game, all fans 13 and under in attendance will receive a Devils mascot bobblehead compliments of Sharp Electronics and your New Jersey Devils. Game time is 7.30 p.m. Tickets for all Devils home games are available and may be purchased at the Arena Box Office. Ticketmaster charged by phone, Ticketmaster.com, and at all Ticketmaster outlets. Devils in the Capitals and the Continental Airlines Arena Friday, March 1st at 7.30 p.m. And that's it. That's what you will receive if you're 13 and under and you attend the game on Saturday when the Devils skate against Washington. Matt Lachlan along with the Maven Stan Fisher. We heard from Brian Gianta in the uh, intermission there talking about the getting back to their style of game, settling down a little bit, and it worked, and the Devils have taken a lead. Well, the Rangers had chances, and certainly Bobby Halik has become very apparent, particularly uh, late in the game, but you know, with some interesting things, uh, Joe Neuendijk, in a sense, is uh, the replacement for Halik uh, and Johnny Madden, and uh, Neuendijk has been very effective at face-off, very, very effective. You gotta take a look at it, because he's going up against Bobby Halik here, and Halik is a terrific face-off man, but uh, Neuendijk has been very, very successful so far against Halik. Not that it's turned the game around, but certainly uh, this is something that the Devils have wanted in replacing uh, Bobby Halik. The other thing I liked about the period and the game is that it's, played with a, it's been played with a lot of intensity. And even the little guys, you know, guys like Gianta are mixing it up, and uh, of course, uh, we saw Scotty Gomez get involved, and when Gomez gets involved, it's a little bit unusual, but he does have a temper, and there he is. He's taking a beating there, and uh, he seems to be able to come up. Uh, that's Halik giving it to him, and he gets right back into the play. He gives it a little bit back. There he is with Kasparitis, and uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that was a nice shot to the noggin. I'm surprised he didn't get a penalty for that. Well, you know what? They went back and forth there, and the referees let them play on. You mentioned it in the pregame. We'll mention it again here uh, in terms of candidates for the Rangers' head coaching job for next year. You think, let's say, they might come back, or there's a potential of well, he, coming when back? Well, when the Rangers were in St. Paul, he was asked, and he, he left it open. Now, that's the same thing he did the night before that he, he took over as coach. He said uh, he, he would not acknowledge, he would not say, he would not deny it. So, hey, if he hasn't denied it, it's still a possibility. Might come back next year as coach, maybe Mike Keenan. That story will continue to develop.